So, if you missed last week's vlog, you're probably wondering what the f is going on. Well, that's me. I'm Jess. And this is my friend, Claudia. We've spent the past two days exploring Claudia's hometown in Krakow, Poland. We've been staying at Plantonia, a vegan-friendly apart hotel in the center of Krakow. So, what have we been getting up to? As usual, we've indulged in a fair too many food comas, strutted through the streets, and ticked off some of the best bucket list items. Among all the attractions, it honestly feels like a fairy tale walking through the snowy streets. I've got to say, power walking around and laughing over the most ridiculous things has made me feel like I'm 15 years old again. I've really missed the feeling that you get when you're alone with old friends. Anyways, let's get back on track. So, this morning we went to Vavel, 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 God damn it, here I go with the pronunciation, Vavel Cathedral. We took a look around and headed up the bell tower. Claudia is really into history and she's super proud of her country. So it was interesting listening to her historical facts. I personally believe that one of the best ways to travel abroad is to do it with a local. So honestly, I'm super grateful to have had this experience with Claudia. And I honestly felt like I had my own personal private tour guide. Anyways, enough of my mushy, smushy, kafushi, whatever that means. Let's get back into the scenic B-roll and have you feeling like you're right there with me in Poland.
was around about at this point, we both started to get a bit tired, we were hungry, and, well, <laughs> we needed to pee. So, Claudia led us to this really cool restaurant that was underground in the city centre. <laughs> We are here, we are about to go into an underground restaurant called Ratoshova. It is underneath a very famous... Woohoo! Oh god. jump in here and say that this drink was insane honestly it was so tasty in poland we were drinking a lot of mulled wine considering the minus something degrees the temperature definitely called for a hotter warm alcoholic beverage this one however had a really nice mix of lemon ginger and maybe vodka if i'm wrong Anyways, if you head to this spot, definitely recommend it. And after we were all foodied out, of course, we decided to take it one step further and head straight into the Christmas night market. There, we ate some cheese and other things before heading to our favorite spot. Okay, we're at the Christmas markets and we are going to try Ostipek. 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 <laughs> it's melted cheese. Yes. Check that out. Hmm. Let's just take a quick moment of appreciation for the alcohol selection here at this bar. Honestly, I was blown away, guys. There was everything from lavender and pine shoots to walnut and honey. If I try and put it into words, I actually can't. This is definitely something that you have to taste for yourself. in the supermarket and we're gonna do a crazy supermarket haul and I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing so let's do it. They just lost Claudia, I have no idea where the fuck she is. This is like wafer, kind of similar yes. as well. Yeah. Similar to the inside of a Kit Kat. Yeah, similar to Cadbury, the smaller blocks with like different fillings on the inside. Ooh. Advocat. Look at this pierogies. 
Okay guys, it's freezing fucking cold and today we're going to be learning a little bit of Polish. How do you say Polish? Polska? Polska is Poland. Polska? Polski. We're going to be learning some Polski in Polska with the Polski lady. Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, it's happening. So, how do you say hello? Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. A more casual say, like you would talk to your family or friends, you would also could say cześć. Cześć. Yes. How do you say, how are you? Jak się masz? Jak się masz? Dobrze. What's that? Means good. Good? Yes. Dobrze. Mm -hmm. How do I say bad? Nie dobrze. Or mm -hmm. źle. 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 Okay, let's have a conversation. Let's do this. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. I forgot. Jak się masz? Jak się masz? Okay, I need something to remember this with. Okay. Jak, like yak, like a yam. Jak się masz? Mm -hmm. The yak is in the marsh. How are you? The yak is in the marsh. It's a very interesting way to... How are you? Jak się <laughs> masz? Okay. Jak się masz? Yeah, jak się masz. Okay, dzień dobry. Jak się masz? Dobrze, a ty? Le. Źle. <laughs> Le. Źle. 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 Okay. okay. <laughs> you know what you say in your Źle. <laughs> Fuck, this language is so difficult. <laughs> All right, so it's been a shit situation up in here. We just arrived at the new hotel and there's a crazy fucking smell coming from the toilet. Like someone has like shut themselves or something in there, but no one's shut themselves because we just arrived. Anyway, so it's been a fuck and a couple of things are pretty cooked and this is actually the first time I've ever arrived anywhere and like had this situation. So we're trying to navigate the challenges right now, but it's not looking promising.
spent the next couple of days hanging out in the old town, going to some really cool thermal springs just a few hours outside of Krakow and hanging out just like we used to. In the last couple of days together, we headed to Mount Kosciuszko. Again, I don't know how to pronounce that, so sorry to any of my Polish friends out there. That was intense. Just went up this giant mound. I look like a teddy bear. We made it. It's fing cold up here. Let's mm. get down. Holy sh. Hello. <laughs> okay, not the. Oh my god. Okay, I have to take a minute to highlight this restaurant. Seriously, if you visit Poland, you have to go here. I actually asked Claudia to put the candle out with her finger and the waitress showed up right in the middle as we were doing it. Second Ready? feed, yeah. Right. But in all seriousness, if you do choose to travel to Krakow, definitely add this restaurant to your list and you will not regret it, people. This mushroom soup was the next level. Oh, this is insane, holy shit. Wow, okay. After overindulging in a little bit too much food, we passed out, woke up the next day, and then packed up our things. So that's about it for the Poland vlogs, guys. Thanks heaps for watching. See you in the next one.